pencil and I've also got a short one. I, it depends on what you want to do and which one you're comfortable with. But the pencil is important because when you want to do your writing, it's always good to use a pencil first, do the sketch, decide if that's the right design you want to use or not before you actually use a marker or a calligraphy pen to do the final impression on the card because you don't want to if you use ink then that means you can't erase it and that's going to be a waste of paper because you need to start all over again so always use a pencil first do a sketch and then do a trace and do the finish up with an ink apart from that for today's demonstration you'll need a ribbon that matches the color of the card that you want to make I'll be making a, a birthday card today and then apart from that you also need um, glue paper glue most preferably because it's not sticky and then when you paste it it doesn't take more than a minute really to dry out so that saves you a lot of time so I advise you to get paper glue don't get any glue that is sticky depending on what you want to do too sorry you'll need stickers or embellishments um, as you can see these ones are the ones that have got motorbikes on it because sometimes some guys don't like flowers so if you want to do a birthday card for a boy you want to use um, images of things that are guy related even though some guys some ladies ride motorbikes but get something that's boyish if you're doing it for a girl get something that's girly for example here we've got handbags we've got flowers we've got butterflies and then we've got um, a pair of heels and then this is something that's girly so always make sure that you get stickers or embellishments that represent what you really doing your demonstration for finally you need um, a piece of white paper that you're going to stick in the middle of the card and then your message would be somewhere here if you haven't got a really good handwriting like me you might as well just get someone who writes better if you think that's what you want to do to do the writing for you so let's get started for today's demonstration I am going to make a card with a paper that has impressions on it if you look closely you'll see that this card has flower impressions on them it's already ready made but you can make something like this at home and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this green one together with the cream one that has the gold spots on them and then after that I will add a ribbon to it and do a little bit of writing on the side and also put the white paper in the middle now I'm sure a lot of you would be wondering okay what if I'm ready and then I haven't got an envelope in subsequent shows on the DIY show I'll show you how to make an envelope of your own if you want to buy an envelope from the flower shop and it's closed and you need it so urgently all you need is a basic white paper I'll do that in subsequent shows I'll show you how to make an envelope on your own so you need not worry about that but if you also have a pack of envelope when you're making your card what you can do is cut the card um, exactly the size of the envelope so you wouldn't have the problem of oh my envelope is too small or my card is too big I can't have an envelope for it let's get started first of all Take the white sheet of paper, put it on the first part of the card like this. Take a pencil, mark it and then cut. To get a straight line make sure you get a ruler because it makes the walk a lot neat. neater rather. Okay. So you do this and then cut it to size. You've got a little bit of excess hair, so you might as well just want to cut that too. Two sheets of paper, one white one and then one that has impressions on it. What you do with the white one is fold it in the middle. Use a ruler and press it. Put it aside. Take the green button, put it in the middle, and press. Now you have two. Use your paper glue, apply it on this side and on that side. Don't put 
too much of glue because if you do that it's going to fold start making impressions on the paper and that wouldn't look too nice so just apply a sufficient amount but not a lot do the same for the inside of the green card too and then you've sticked it here you've also sticked this here so you put them together make sure both of the centers are placed at the right place use your ruler again to press the glue and make sure it sticks properly so when you open it this is what it looks like now when you close it you'll see that you've got some little white on the sides you can decide to leave it like that but if you also want the outside to be just green all you have to do open it cut the excess on the sides the way you want it it depends on you it's your choice now that we've finished with the inside part we're going to do the outside as I said you've got the designed paper I told you that I was going to show you how to do that on your own. Just in case you can't find a paper like that, I'll just give you a short tutorial on how to do that. Get a plain sheet of paper, get the nail polish, and just do dots on them. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So that's all you have to do. Just design it anyhow. If you don't want to make the dots with the nail polish, just do it, use a blow dryer or leave it under the sun to dry out. It doesn't necessarily have to be in a polka dot shape, but you can decide to make hats, you can decide to make squares, you can decide to make rectangles, or you can even decide to make a triangle. It depends on you, do what you really want and what you think looks nice. So, let's do the outside. Use the same method of applying as you did with the outside one, with the inside one for the outside. Apply the glue at the center. Because it's the outside, you might just want to go a little bit further. Don't take it right to the edge because you want the relief effect. So just stop somewhere here. Do the same for the other side too. Take the card, put it in like this, and then fold. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a ribbon. Make sure you get a ribbon, the color of the card that you're making. So because we've got green and a little bit of gold, I decided to get olive green because I feel this is something that would look nice on it. All right. Take the ribbon, fold it, put it in like this. Don't make the tying too tight because then it's going to pull the card at the top. Just make it very soft. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make a bow. Hold it like this. Take another one like that and then tie it. Take this part. Take another one. And then tie. Take the left over, match it with another one, and then do a final tie-in. When you're ready, that's what it's going to look like. But because it's a birthday card, we're going to use the pencil to do a sketch and write birthday on the side.
now we've done the sketch. 